is good Raider Nation it's your boy Raider Alex back with yet another video for you guys anybody that is new to the channel and you guys love Raiders related content just like this make sure to like comment subscribe to the channel that means that let's jump right into it now the day has finally come officially it is the end of an era for the Las Vegas Raiders and the former Raiders quarterback Derek Carr as the Raiders have made it official we have officially released Derek Carr from the roster and we can begin the process finally of building this roster with a new quarterback look overall i don't think this was an easy decision for this new regime to make primarily due to the fact that now they have a lot of pressure put on them now they have to find a replacement for Derek carr it's not the easiest thing to do to replace a quarterback in the national football league you know ultimately like i said it may have not been the most easiest choice to make but i do think it was the necessary move after nine years i think we can all recognize that this marriage between Derek carr and the raiders was never going to amount to anything significant in terms of a championship run look my respect to Derek carr for his effort and overall the time he put in with the silver and black as the saying goes once a raider always a raider but with that being said i am optimistic about the potential of this team moving forward with a new face under center and when it comes to the quarterback who will be the future quarterback i think right now the most likely option moving forward is that this raiders front office is going to try to do everything they can to try to make a trade for the best available veteran quarterback in the trade market which is aaron Rodgers. But if we cannot land Aaron Rodgers, I think the next option would be definitely something that I would be very intrigued with. Hell, I could even make an argument that this may be a better option, that I may like this option even more than going out and trading for Aaron Rodgers, the guy who's getting up there in age. And that is to draft the best quarterback in this year's NFL draft, draft the first round quarterback. In my opinion, it's close between Alabama's Bryce Young and Ohio State CJ Stroud but if I had to choose I'm going to give the edge to Ohio State quarterback CJ Stroud I understand a lot of people don't like CJ Stroud just because he's an Ohio State quarterback but look that's not a good enough argument for me I mean let's if, we, if you want to get real about it you know name me one college that produces franchise quarterbacks year in and year out in college football there is none you just have to scout the player based on his traits and what you think he can project to in the NFL. I think CJ Stroud is more prepared to start next year compared to a guy like Bryce Young. He's the best overall thrower of the football in this whole draft. He has the prototypical ideal size for a franchise quarterback. He can use his legs. He is definitely athletic enough to be a modern day NFL quarterback. But ultimately, he's a pass first quarterback, which is something I love. He's a great pocket passer. And just looking at his tape, I think if he can be put in the right situation, he could really be something special at the quarterback position. And here's where I'm going to jump into what CJ Stroud said in terms of what NFL receiver he would want to throw the ball to. He was asked this question, look, CJ Stroud didn't necessarily come out and say Devontae Adams, but if you put two to two together, he let everybody know that he would love to play with our star wide receiver, Devontae Adams. And look, after thinking about it, look, if the Raiders are really going to draft a quarterback this year, especially one of these high potential first round quarterbacks, the Raiders are definitely one of the best situations for these young quarterbacks when you look at the other teams in the top 10 in this year's draft, especially on offense. So it wouldn't necessarily surprise me if a guy like CJ Stroud would love to get drafted from the Raiders look the Raiders have so much talent on the offensive side of the football having the league's leading rusher and Josh Jacobs who I do expect to be back next season whether that's under a franchise tag or under a long-term deal that's to be seen but he will be back next year we have the best wide receiver in all of football and Devontae Adams the best route runner in the whole league we got a top five tight end and Darren Waller Especially for rookies, a tight end can be the ultimate security blanket for them. We got Hunter Renfro, a good slot receiver. And we also have a head coach who can call good plays on offense. Look, I understand Josh McDaniels has got a lot of criticism and pushback from our fans in terms of being a head coach, which is understandable. But look, I'm just strictly focusing on him potentially being able to help a young quarterback develop and adapt to the NFL. And look, what we saw in the 2021 season with a rookie in Mac Jones back in New England, he made him a pro bowler. And after McDaniels left New England, Mac Jones looks like an average quarterback at best. So look, really, if the Raiders ended up potentially drafting CJ Stroud, I think the Raiders would be in an ideal spot 
for CJ Stroud to develop and he would be put in such a great situation to succeed compared to the other teams in the top 10 in this year's draft. And also, let's even compare it to the last time we drafted a quarterback in the early rounds. It was Derek Carr back in 2014 when we drafted him in the second round. Just compare what Derek Carr was given on offense as a rookie his first couple years. We gave him like veterans like James Jones. He had Rod Streeter. You know, we didn't give him a whole lot on offense. And just compare, if we drafted a guy like CJ Stroud, just compare what kind of weapons he would be given on offense. It's just a night and day difference. This will definitely help the development of a quarterback. There's no doubt about that. And ultimately, if you can hit on a rookie quarterback, that just allows you so much opportunity to build an overall complete and competitive roster. But overall, it just really depends on if you would rather trade for a veteran like Aaron Rodgers or you draft a quarterback. Look, each of these options has some risk involved with it. Each option has its own pros and cons. I mean, the pros of drafting a guy like Aaron Rodgers is, look, if you're going to trade for a quarterback, because if we're going to get a CJ Stroud, we're more than likely going to have to trade up in this year's draft. So either way, you're going to have to give up draft capital. Look, if you're going to give up draft capital, you can make the argument that you might as well trade for a player that you know what you're going to get when you trade for him, we know Aaron Rodgers is a Hall of Fame level quarterback. You know he's a lock to have 30 plus touchdowns, 4,000 passing yards. He has the instant connection with our star wide receiver in Devontae Adams. He has a veteran presence and he has a lot of experience in the game. But you know, at the same time, the cons with Aaron Rodgers is you're going to pay a lot more when it comes to his contract compared to a rookie quarterback. And he's getting up there in age. Aaron Rodgers really only has probably two years left in the National Football League. And the pros of drafting a rookie quarterback like potentially a CJ Stroud is when you can hit on a quarterback in the draft, when you have him on that rookie deal, that is essentially like a cheat code in the National Football League. We have seen many teams use that blueprint to have success. Also, by drafting a quarterback, you have the potential to secure a franchise quarterback, secure that position for years to come. And of course, some cons with drafting a rookie is, look, like I said, for CJ Stroud or if you want to even get Bryce Young, whoever you want to get, you do have to give up some draft capital to get these guys. And it is always a gamble drafting first round quarterbacks, just quarterbacks in general. And they will need some time to develop, typically compared to an Aaron Rodgers, who we know week one of next year he'll be ready to go but the raiders will need to make this decision in the near future personally i wouldn't mind either one of these options but if you had to ask me i'm really leaning towards the possibility of drafting a quarterback just because look when you draft a quarterback and you can hit on that rookie deal it just allows your team to enter in a potential super bowl run type of window where you can just load up on the roster on both sides of the football we know this defense needs some help you can hit on a rookie quarterback you can really beef up that defense and ultimately this is really has been one of the blueprints in the national football league for quite some time now we see it with the eagles currently with jalen hurts we saw it with the Bengals with joe burrow the chiefs with patrick mahomes mahomes won his first super bowl under that rookie contract and the bills with josh allen currently look most of these teams that are having success making the playoffs getting close to winning the super bowl most of them are young quarterbacks on a rookie deal but ultimately the future of the raiders is very exciting and look i'm glad that we can begin the process of finding a new quarterback as soon as possible with the official release of Derek carr i'm just so glad that they didn't drag this whole situation out the raiders can now begin a look for their new quarterback. The Raiders will have a little bit under $50 million in cap space, have a lot of draft picks. So we do have a lot of resources to invest on this football team. And I hope we can definitely invest some of that money on the defensive side of the football moving forward and through the draft. But Raider Nation, let me know what you guys think. Would you guys prefer to trade for a guy like Aaron Rodgers or draft a quarterback? Let me know. That being said, Raider Nation, that is all I have for you guys in today's video. Anybody that is new to the channel, you guys love Raiders related content just like this. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. That being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.